Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Adas this. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the limited edition Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Nintendo Switch OLED model. But before we get into that, quick announcement, guys. I will be bringing back gaming videos on my second channel. So if you're interested in gaming walkthroughs and gaming related videos, head on over to the channel and subscribe. But without further ado, we get to do. Let's get it. All right, guys. So the Nintendo Switch OLED model Pokemon Scarlet and Violet edition. This is the limited edition Nintendo Switch for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that just released. Here's the front of the box. Here's one side of the box. This is the other side that tells you the contents. There's the top with the Nintendo logo. There's the bottom with a sneak preview of the back as well. And here's the back of the box. So there's the Joy Cons, the Switch console, the Switch console with the Joy Cons, the dock with the console and the Joy Cons, and the back. Let's get this thing open, guys. Let's get this thing open. Alright, so first things there is I guess how to connect the Switch. And then here, um, should work. Yep. So there's the Joy-Cons. Let me take the console out, put that aside for now. Take a first look at the Joy-Cons. So here's the first left Joy-Con. So on front, well the color is orange and I think, I believe in game, that's going to be the orange school. Here's the back of the Joy Con with Brigatito. Brigatito, I think the name is. And then a Fui Coco there. So that's the left orange Joy Con. And then this is the right side with, I think it's purple school or grape school. I mean, you can see the grape, grapes there and the grape symbol. Again with Sprigatito and Fuey Coco. There you go, that's the Joy-Cons. Here is the OLED model. This is the screen. Now you can see my setup and my mic. Here's the back. There you go. It's kind of like a um, graffiti slash mural. Like artwork, you could say. It's got Fue Coco, Sprigatito, and where's Crackly? There's Crackly. Crackly, Crackly. There's another Pokemon there. I don't know what that is. What Pokemon is that? I have no idea. And then there's another one there with the symbols as well. Grape School. Where's the orange school? Is there orange school in there? There it is. And then, this is kickstand I guess. So if you wanna lay it down like that. There you go. That's the OLED model. Let's leave it on the side like that. This is... This is the switch dock. So here's the front of the docks with Coridon and Maridon, I believe their names are. There you go. And then you got like a little border with I guess some symbols. The finish on this, there you go, you can just look at that. On the in, like insides, insides of the Pokemon you can see. Like they've got Coridon has like some triangles. And then Maridon's got these lines going through. And the finish as well is like a gloss, like film gloss kind of finish. There you go. This is the back of the dock. We have a little poker symbol down in the bottom left. And I believe this is removable. Yep. We have cables and stuff like that. So cable management, 
Magic Cable Commander AC Adapter, HDMI out, and then LAN There you go Quite a nice console to be honest, quite a nice console I'm, and my first Switch console I believe I, to be honest I wasn't really interested in getting a Switch as much as I wanted to play Pokemon I haven't played any of the Pokemon before this this would be my first Pokemon game on Switch um, Scarlet and Violet but I couldn't justify paying the price of a normal Switch so I just waited until a limited edition one came out that was nice which Pokemon related channel might as well get a Pokemon Switch and to finally play a Switch Pokemon game I mean in terms of setup wise the white doesn't in in general the console itself doesn't go with my setup but because it's Pokemon related I can let it slide here are the joy cons attached to the switch OLED model if you want to play it as a handheld console I think this is the first time I've actually had a switch in my hand as well to be honest I've never really had a reason to hold a switch in my hand or play the switch like as a handheld wow, wow. just realized that Here's the back of it wireless with the Joy Cons on as well, with the complete um, artwork, I guess. There you go. And let's put it in the top. And this is how it will look while it's in the dock. Actually, quite a nice console. I like it. I like it. This is me realizing while doing glam shots that I completely forgot about the rest of the contents. So, the rest of the contents, guys. You get a HDMI cable with the switch. There you go. This is your power adapter, which will probably be variant depending on what what region you're from. Yes. EU plugs will be different, UK plugs will be different, US plugs will be different. This is a UK plug. There you go. This is the gamepad. There you go, the Nintendo Switch gamepad. Which I probably won't use, I'll probably end up getting a um, Switch Pro controller or something like that. Here are your straps, your wrist straps, or shall I say bumper add-ons coordinating with, color, with the colour of the actual Joy-Cons which is actually a good touch there you go and here's the purple one oh I like that they did that with the straps colour matched it with the actual like, Joy-Con itself sometimes most places don't Take that level of detail. But yeah, guys, that's the rest of the contents which I almost forgot to add into the video. So there's the limited edition Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Nintendo Switch Bowler model. I will be doing a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet walkthrough on my second channel. So if you want to head over there and subscribe, guys, as soon as this game releases, I'll upload some videos of gameplay walkthroughs. But yeah, that is the Nintendo Switch Pokemon Scarlet and Violet edition. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe. Turn notifications on for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.